Lego Castle is currently experiencing a renaissance of sorts. Between the release of The Lion Knight's Castle last August, or the Creator and Ideas Castle sets that were put out in 2021, it's a great time to be a Lego Castle fan. The property has also benefited from renewed interest overall. After all, most LEGO fans grew up with some version of Castle. Whether that was the fantasy era, Knight's Kingdom, or the Black Falcons, Castle has touched the hearts of millions across the decades. But as we celebrate the current success of LEGO Castle, it's important to note the fact that for many years, it looked like Castle may never return, as between 2013 and 2021, no castle sets hit shelves, with the exception of one LEGO movie build. So what caused the downfall of LEGO Castle? Of course, in the past, I have blamed Creator. But today, there's another entity to point the finger at, that being the final castle theme to date, 2013's Castle. The line was honestly a mockery of what LEGO had achieved with the castle property, especially when you compare it to the two themes that came before it. And honestly, this theme overall was a train wreck. While we obviously can't blame the eight-year castle hiatus entirely on this theme, I have a good feeling that in some way, 2013's castle caused LEGO to give up on this legendary property. Now, before I completely dress down this theme, there was some good that came out of 2013's castle. Not much, but some. For starters, there was the $12 forest ambush set that came with two lion knights and two dragon knights a perfect army builder, and if that set were to return, I have no doubts that it would fly off shelves, even at a $15 or even $20 price point. In addition, this theme as a whole was affordable. Unlike the Fantasy Era or Kingdoms themes, which both had multiple waves, 2013's castle was one singular wave of sets. The mini theme, made up of five sets, was only $212 in total. A more than fair price. But that's where the positives end. This theme, in many ways, was doomed from the start, as LEGO released it at a terrible time. First off, this was not the only medieval-style theme on shelves, as this theme was directly competing against the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit sets. In addition, after releasing the Fantasy-era Castle and Kingdom's themes back-to-back, -back, LEGO could not help themselves, as they had to release a third castle theme. That's right, between 2007 and 2013, fans received three castle themes. And while I'm all in favor of a ton of castle sets, I'm not a fan of three themes appearing in a four-year period, only to be followed by an eight-year drought. Who is? However, that's not even the worst thing about this theme. While I do appreciate the fact that LEGO went out of their way to make an affordable collection of castle sets, this theme was at the same time a lazy lineup of sets. What made the two castle themes that preceded 2013's castle so special is how they transformed LEGO Castle. The fantasy era saw LEGO finally dip their toes into a fantasy medieval world with the trolls, skeletons, knights, and dwarfs. And Kingdoms had a fantastic lineup of buildings. And I love how LEGO also created sets that allowed fans to put together their own medieval village outside of the castle gates. Meanwhile, 2013's castle lacked any sort of originality or wow factor. It did not bring anything new to the table. In fact, it saw LEGO rest on their laurels. And perhaps that laziness and lack of effort which could have been present even in a five-set mini-theme, is why us fans did not receive another LEGO Castle set until 2021. 